think thoughts of peace and not of afflictions. You will call upon me, and I will answer you, and I will lead back your captives from every place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the book of Revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him, to show his servants what must happen soon. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who gives witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ by reporting what he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud, and blessed are those who listen to this prophetic message and heed what is written in it, for the appointed time is near. John, to the seven churches in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits before his throne. I heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Ephesians, write this, the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstands stands, says this, I know your works, your labor, and your endurance, and that you cannot tolerate the wicked. You have tested those who call themselves apostles, but are not, and discovered that they are impostors. Moreover, you have endurance, and have suffered for my name, and you have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Realize how far you have fallen. Repent, and do the work you did at first. Otherwise, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Those who are victorious I will feed from the tree of life. Those who are victorious I will feed from the tree of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his, light, on his law day and night. Those, Those who are victorious I will feed from, from the tree of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those, Those who are victorious I will feed from the tree of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those, Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. 
As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. In the rite of penance, the official rite for the sacrament of reconciliation, we have listed various acts of contrition. And this one statement by the blind man is considered, a form of it, as an act of contrition. Lord Jesus, have pity on me, a sinner. When we encounter this, we see the beautiful realization where we have literally a form of confession. Lord, have mercy on me. What do you want? I want to see. And for you and I who are not physically blind, we ask, we want to see. What do we want to see? We want to see ourselves, who we truly are. Through prayer. So that through the grace of God, you and I can become better individuals. For when we know what the problems are. We're able to, with God's help, and I say God's help through prayer, through the advice <coughs> and counsel of others who are wiser than us, more spiritually uh, prepared, they can help us to approach issues that need to be corrected. <coughs> the beautiful Saint Francis de Sales, in his works, speak of going to the root of our sins, whether they be mortal or venial. For you and I might say, oh, I have to come in here every week, every two weeks, every month, a quarter, and confess the same venial sins. Lord, let me see. What is the root cause of these venial sins? So that I can address that with your grace and help. So that these things that I continually fall to, I won't fall to as much. And hopefully one day I won't fall to them at all. So let us take the prayer of the blind man on the road today. Let us ask for the mercy of God to help us to see, to see things in ourselves that need improvement. That's the beauty of our spiritual life. Although our bodies may grow old and we may get tired and say, that's it, I'm tired of changing. Our spiritual life is constantly working for renewal and change, so that we can be better every day. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
<coughs> Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering from our families, our parishes, our communities. We especially remember those in hospitals, nursing homes, the homebound. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our extended family who watch this Mass on video. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all our holy souls who have gone before us in death, especially those in the continued state of purgation, and for all the souls whose names are listed on our altars during this month of November. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray that the infant of Prague will continue to watch over the finances of our two parishes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude by asking Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all of His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, or is in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body, 
and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save and us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, <clears throat> who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell. Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true name. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints.